Are you clear on clouds? Uh, internet clouds as well as the real ones. We actually use the word clouds in the context of internet because it's the way we draw the internet at large on a diagram. Clouds are used both by private individuals and professionally by companies. Now, this is a video editing suite that we use possibly for one hour a day. For the rest of the time, it's standing idle. The basic idea behind the cloud is that there's a better way to do things. That out there on the internet, in the cloud, there is a computer system that I can use for editing when and if I need it. So the cloud is a way of making more efficient use of things because they're not standing idle so much of the time. And the cloud computer can be bigger, better and faster than anything that we can have as individuals. There could be other benefits too. The computer could be located in a place where there's more expertise available, where costs are lower, or other benefits come from the economies of scale. Or even in a colder place, where there's less need to cool down the computers. Before deciding to use a cloud service, you have to understand what is on offer. There are many types of cloud, and you have to understand the answers to three questions. Number one, what does it do? What is the service that's being provided? Number two, where is it? What is the location of the service? And number three, who owns it? Where is the payment going to go? Now for the answers to the first question, what does it do? These fall into a number of different areas. The first one is the area of infrastructure or resources. Another is to make software available. It might be a video editing system or some other software that you need and want, but don't want to buy just for your own use alone. The next question is, where is it? Is it in the room next to you or is it half a world away? This can be important because it affects the data flow between you and the server and the connection reliability. There's also the issue of the legal environment where you are and where the server is. This can be important too. Now the third question is who owns it? It might be yourself or another company. This influences the cost, the performance of the system, and even who has access to the data. So clouds are a way to be more efficient by accessing services by our computer networks like internet. But in fact, the word clouds in this context can be very ambiguous. And maybe we need to be more precise with the terms that we use. Weather scientists, they already have their own terms for different types of cloud. And maybe we need our own precise terms for our different types of cloud. So the question is, what terms should we use for our clouds?